Welcome to Point Dexter's Pointers of Fighting. I'm Point Dexter. This is Drew. What up? And my pointer today is throw strikes that are useful in a street fight if you have to get in one, not unuseful strikes that are going to get your ass kicked. All right. So we're going to show you some strikes and how to do them. And we're also going to show you the ones that aren't useful and what can possibly happen to you if you throw stupid strikes in a fight. So here we go. So the main thing here is if when you fight, people use their closed fist. That's not always good in a fight. Sometimes you want to use your open hand. But when you use the closed fist is when you're hitting the big area. So if he's punching the chest, the body, he's working the working the rib action, you know, anything from neck to waist is, is, is essentially the big target. This is what you want to hit with your fist when you want to work them. That's what you want to hit. When you're punching at the head, you really got to be careful. And I even suggest not to go for the head very often because everyone wants that home run shot. Everyone, oh, it'd be great. We scrub, boom, boom, and it's over. Yeah, of course, but that's not usually how fights go unless it's a sucker punch. If you square up with somebody, you're doing this and you're doing this and, and it doesn't end that way, right? So if you're gonna throw at the head, try to throw with an open hand finger to the eyes or just something something to jar them a little bit so you can go in with a shot or go with some other technique. But punching at the head, especially if he's smart and he backs up and his back's to a wall and I throw a punch and I miss, I'm punching that wall and here he comes with, with, rib, with rib breaking activity, right? He's gonna break them all, every single one of them. Now, there's also kicking. And I would implore you to practice low kicking. In a fight, waist down. Waist down kicking. Do not kick the head at the head unless you're trained. This channel is not for trained fighters, though. Trained fighters know what they're doing. Untrained people who try to do things you see when they watch mixed martial art matches, that's what's going to get your ass kicked, right? So, for example, Drew is a wrestler, right? I'm also a wrestler. And so, but I think he's a better wrestler than I am. So, if I throw a kick at Drew, especially a very, very unrealistic one, like I'm here and I want to throw a spinning kick, he's going to block that, and I'm going to slam zone. That's, right. <laughs> That's where I'm headed. I'm headed to Suplex City. That's right. right. So, if I throw a roundhouse at his face, if I come from here and throw a roundhouse, he's blocking that. And I'm going to Suplex City again, right? But just the opposite direction. Right. So if I'm kicking here, and not any person can see your feet, you don't want them to see your feet. You don't want to telegraph it. But if I'm throwing here and up, if I throw one here, he can block it. If I throw that, he's blocking that. Right. If I throw here, he's blocking that. If I throw at his head, he's blocking that most of the time. Or he's moving out the way. Right. He can back up out the way. Right. And, he can, and now because my foot's got to come down, He's got time to block and come in so I can throw and I got to come, boom, done, impact, it's over, right? So unless you know how to time those perfectly, leave those alone. Leave them alone. Unless you practice the way I used to, 500 kicks a day, my sense used to make me do. If, unless you're doing that, don't do them. But groin kicks, you kick to the nuts, that's something that's below the waist, right. especially if you got to say, ah, boom, okay, he ain't seeing that. He ain't seeing that. And now his head's down, and now I can do other stuff, right? So that might be fine. Throwing, throwing low kicks to the thigh, to the inside of the thigh, to the knees, these kind of kicks. So if we're here, and I boom, and I throw one right there, if you throw that correct, that's going to hurt him. And it's going to make him, he's going to have an oh shit moment because he's probably never felt nothing like that before. So it's going to boom, and then you can go do what you got to do. But again, below the waist, all below the waist stuff, it's realistic to do in a fight. You want to learn how to throw low kicks correctly because he can just raise his leg and catch it. So if I throw one and he, boom, and he catches that, you're still, you still could be open. That's, it's his move next, especially if you're off balance. If you land off balance, boom, more impact, right? So even the moves I'm showing you, you got to practice. That's why I keep saying, I still think that boxing and wrestling are the two best styles you can take to combine. Most people don't kick in a fight, but that's why I'm telling you that throwing kicks is a good thing to do 
because most people don't expect it, especially dude versus dude. You fight the chick, you might think, oh, she's going to go for a groin. You shouldn't be fighting the chick, but if you are, or you're grabbing one, she's going to go for your groin, and you better be expecting that because it's a chick. But if it's a dude, ain't no rules. Throw in my kick. What, is, is there chivalry? No. No chivalry. No. I'm kicking his balls off. I want to win. I want to get out of there. Right. There's no chivalry. I'm going for what I think I'm going to hit. Right? You got to be realistic. Center mass. Center mass. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and it ends there. So yeah. you go for that. Right. So, so yeah, you have to be realistic. Now, you also have to tailor what you're going to do to your style. As you see, every time... I go at Drew, he ends up grabbing me at some point because he knows what the hell he's doing when he grabs a person. All right. So, and I tend to do that too. I tend to want to grapple, but most people, you know, they want to stand and punch and that's not smart. Right. If I punch at you though, I know I'm going to slam zone right. somehow. Right. I don't want to go to slam zone. Right. So pay attention to what's happening. Also, this is what I said about being calm, being calm. And it's hard to when you're in a fight. It's very hard to be calm, but you gotta think about what you're doing. Don't throw a home run shot, you're gonna miss that. You're gonna miss that. Especially with a closed fist. This is why I have a damaged hand. I threw a punch at someone, I missed, I hit a wall, and my, my finger will never be straight again. One punch, mess your whole hand up. That's right. You hit somebody and they're smart and take it to the head because they, boom, broke your hand. You don't want a broken hand. And I'm coming in at the same time. Right. So now I'm going to the ground. Oh, yeah. Yep. Up to the ground. It's done. <laughs> it's done. And everything has to be snapped. Yep. Right? Snap. Everything is fast. Right. So the point here is. So throw, throw one in real time so they can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, a punch? Yeah, so I'm going to punch. See how I'm already here? And he's there. Right. Because I'm big. Now, let's just say, you know, you big. Big is 200 plus. Yeah. Close quarter, you know, if you're strong like I am, like I've always been, mm -hmm. try it again. You know, we fight, we fight. I'm here. I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. If you do this, what's going to stop you from hitting the, head, hitting the ground? Nothing. 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 So all I got to do is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's, now, let's just say it's close quarter, mm -hmm. and I don't have the time to get my hand up. Throw another one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anything is. As long yeah. as it ain't my head, yeah. I, can, I can get around it, right? yeah. Anything. Or I can get around... Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Especially because if you're smart, and this is why I tell guys, especially like you younger guys that's kind of feeling yourself, so mm -hmm. I can do 60 push ups straight. <laughs> and I'm drinking the nitrous oxide pre workout drinks and I'm looking for a fight with my super tight affliction t shirt on. Oh, God, yes. Let me tell you yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It's better to avoid punching someone than to hit them. They get hurt, they find you. And you go to jail. Oh, Jesus. Because Christ. everybody is snitching on everybody. It ain't like how it was in the 90s. Uh -huh. Everybody got camera phones now. Yes. And won't nobody blame you for avoiding the fight. Mm -hmm. Now, when you start talking about self-defense, mm -hmm. you also got to remember, it's common sense. Mm -hmm. So let's just say we in the club hanging out. He's looking at my girl. I'm feeling some type of way about it. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you're looking at my girl. You're going to say, that's yeah. my girl. Yeah. I Debo your chip. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, now we got to fight because mm -hmm. I see fighting on TV. Mm -hmm. Here we are, getting ready to fight. You want to hit me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get out the way. Yep. Come on, man. Yeah. Send something I can deal with, right? <laughs> yeah. but, the, but the moment you clinch those fists or mm -hmm. act like you want to fight somebody, mm -hmm. I always tell guys all the time, you know, I was a bouncer for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. As cliche as it sounds, it's just not worth it because the moment you hit someone, mm -hmm. you're married to them. Why? <laughs> They're going to create a situation to where they can play the victim, even if they started it. Yes. 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 Right? Yes. And this is what you guys always forget. We always tend to think that if they started it, but then I win, right. then I'm good. Some type the of law. street justice nonsense. This ain't the law. Yeah, in the street, it might be the law. Right. You started it, but I ended it. Cool. Right. In the street. Right. But now, you got cell phones. Right. World star. Yep. Yeah. And if you did a spectacular knockout, say I throw right. a punch and he comes through with a uh, boom! Yeah. Oh, that's right. going viral. Right. That's going viral. Right. Now the cops ain't even got to look for you nowhere. It's got to come on Facebook and find it. Right. And track you down. Right. The law still says that you got to be under control. It's got to be self-defense. Right. So even if he started it. Right. Depending on what you reacted. Right. Depends on what happens next. Right. And a lot of times people always say, 
But we don't know what led up to these events. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to jail. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Everybody involved. No. Because, <laughs> like, it, this happened years ago in Pacific Beach at the beach. Dude gets into a fight. Mm -hmm. Gets knocked out. Mm -hmm. Or gets knocked down or whatever. Hits his head pretty hard in the cement. Oh. Goes home, goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. Never wakes up. The bouncer or the person who hit him mm -hmm. went to jail. Even though the guy who got knocked out started it. Uh -huh. You what? You knew better. Uh -huh. You knew not to hit him. Oh, but he. Well, guess what? Now you got to pay your debt to society. Because mm -hmm. you don't have a million dollars for a lawyer to get you out of that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't have a million dollars for legal fees. That's Do true. You? you know what? You know what? And I remember another one that happened not so long ago. A guy that I knew who was a bodybuilder, he had a tendency to always find trouble. When someone always finds trouble, that usually means they're the trouble. Right. But he had a tendency to go off on people when a person would approach him if they were a little drunk. He got approached by somebody that was drunk. They made a remark because he was wearing a, a super medium shirt, but he was a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. He took offense, waited until they turned their back and hit him. He was a bodybuilder. He crumbled him, broke all this. He did a couple years. And his and his and his excuse was, well, he came at me first. He was drunk, you was not. Right. He was drunk. Bodybuilder was not. Bodybuilder waited till the drunk got turned and hit him from behind, crumbled him. You're going. You're going. You're going to jail. You're going. And it's just not worth it, man. Ain't, it's, ain't no moment of drama worth your freedom. Nah. And for all you big guys, as we were talking, right. 200 pounds big and up. Big is 200 up. Yeah. I don't care how tall you are. Yeah. If you 200 pounds and up, I, I like to talk to the big guys a lot because the big guys don't understand how, how you're being viewed. Right. It's not about what's fair. Right. What's fair is anybody who does anything should be treated the same. Right. But it's different when, when uh, a little guy, you know, hits someone and when he hits someone right make your fist you see how big that is that is a damn lunchbox <laughs> right when he hits somebody yeah. and the cops come to look at him mm -hmm. and when someone who's a buck 50 hits somebody and the cops come to look at him could be the same result right but they're not going to be as nice to him they won't the, so when you're a big guy, you gotta understand your your situation. You're a big dude, someone might have pissed you off. You gotta be more calm, and it's not fair. It's not fair, but it's what it is, though. You gotta be more calm. You know, I learned a long time ago, perception is reality. Yeah. And if it looks like you're the bully in the situation, mm -hmm. it's just not good for you, even if you didn't start it. Right. You know, because one thing my mom used to always say is, well, you knew better. That's mm -hmm. why everybody's, you know, in trouble. Yeah. You know, oh, but my, I didn't, you, but you knew better, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. You know, people always want to have like this justifiable retaliation. Mm -hmm. But if you know better, it's just best to avoid all that. It's just to avoid it all together. That's true. Absolutely. So to review, the point of this video was to show you useful strikes, very stupid strikes, and also to avoid fights at all costs if you can avoid them, That's even right. if it requires taking it on the chin a little bit sometimes. Avoid it. If you if nothing's hurting you, right. just walk away. Right. So those are our pointers. I'm Point Dexter, Drew. Like and subscribe. Holla at your boys.